Hotel de Ville from her lovely city of Maidan Shar. And uh, then we have uh, Homayun Azizi with us, who is the former ambassador of Afghanistan to France, who is also with us. Très récemment, après le 15 août, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire comment vous l'avez... But the moment I was commuting to airport, I was watching all city with a horror. I was watching people with a big amount of fear. And, and those people all in city, that, uh, that was more horrible. Uh, and the moment I board plane, it was, it was more painful than the moment I lost my dad. Now we are going to, uh, um, uh, all my congratulations. Uh, thank you for organizing it. Um, I was uh, honored to be the recipient of uh, the Medal of uh, the Future is Uncertain. Um, I think we have paid a lump sum price of uh, years of mismanagement by our own government, uh, by the international community. And uh, the Afghan people feel that they are let down, basically. Um, and the way that the, the president of Afghanistan fled, it really contributed to the immediate collapse of not just government, but all the institutions. And thousands of people fled uh, uh, the country. Uh, fearing for their lives. Um, I think it's a collective failure. In the last Mesdames two weeks, and messieurs, uh, il nous a décrit les effets presque mécaniques du retrait américain. I expect the world to please look at Afghanistan beyond the pictures that you have seen from the airport. Uh, 30 plus million Afghans are still in the country and they are going through so much. I think, I think for the sake of the Afghan people, it's, it's vital, it's crucial for the international community to remain engaged with the Afghan people. Government, which is the Republic of Islamic of Afghanistan, because still we are... Unfortunately, the wrong approach of United States and the hasty pullout of their troops and also the way that the U.S. treated Taliban over the past three years and one-sidedly approach in favor of Taliban gained them legitimacy, territory, and free prisoner and provide them ground for abuse. Besides that, the worst propaganda that went around each step of the pullout of international troops mm -hmm. And then finally, an abrupt suspension of logistic supplies and air support to our national defense and security forces collectively had a negative impact on the moral and the capacity of our troops on the ground. So this is the main cause. And so, so on that it led to a, a almost total collapse and humanitarian catastrophe that we are witnessing. What is your, to put it on your chin, uh, what is your impression? Do you yourself uh, uh, hope that uh, 